Okay, hello there everybody, how are we all doing? Hope you're having good success with your fan pages. Just got a quick video for you today. Um, just a quick one to top up on really what we've been doing so far. I'm just going to show you today how to make clickable links in your text etc. Or, um, or clickable images, pictures etc. Just so you can, if you're adding content to your Facebook fan page, you can add um, clickable links and clickable images and it's all going to be using stuff that you've already been shown um, and it's very very simple and easy to do so I'm just going to run through it with you now okay um, <coughs> I'm inside composer as always and I've got the bar at the top set to 520 first thing I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to add a clickable link so what you would do it's just out of shot at the moment, it's just at the top here. Um, <coughs> um, you come up to where it says link, okay, you click on link, okay, it's next to the image icon, and then you get this box here. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so you can see a bit better. Okay, so quite simply it says enter text to display for the link, alright. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, YouTube as an example. Um, for both the clickable link and the image, just because um, it's something we all know and use quite regularly. Okay, um, so I'm going to put something very simple like click here to see great videos. Okay, whatever you wanted to write. And under here, you'd have to enter a web location. So if you've got a, a website or a blog or anything like that, or somewhere you wanted to link them to, you'd write in the address here. And it's also all, we will also need to do always, should I say, is write in the full address with the HTTP. Okay, so if you just copy it completely out of your browser at the address bar at the top, or if you know, just type it in. So you need HTTP, okay, full colon, two forward slashes and then your www dot and we're going to youtube dot com okay and down here uh, your target link is to be opened I always like to click in an <coughs> using a new window in other words it will open up in a fresh tab new window um, especially when you're doing work on your Facebook fan page, if you leave it inside the frame inside the page what, you hap what will happen is you'll have to try and open so I start again. What will happen is you'll try and have a page open up inside an iframe page and it just won't work. You'll have it all squashed up full of scroll bars and it just does it just won't work, simple as that. Um so it's very easy or much easier to uh, when you're doing the links via this text here is to open the link in a new window. Okay? And you click on OK and once you've got that <coughs> that's gonna be your hyperlink. You can adjust that as you would in any other text. Um, colour doesn't always change, um, depending, but the rest of it, obviously you can bold it up, you make it a bit bigger, okay, doesn't really matter when you're happy with it, that's that, okay, so that is it, and what I'll do, I'll take it, I'll take that bit straight over now, okay, then you go to source, grab the text like we normally do, okay, um, what I'll do, I'll go to Thumbs Up Fan Pages and I'm just going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the music player because I believe that's got a um, empty box on the fan box. I'm just going to use this as an example for you. Alright, so you come down to your editing your box as always. Okay. Right click, paste in the code. Okay, so if you created a whole sort of text page or whatever it is and you had a couple of clickable links, obviously you just write it as you would normally, but you'd add the text and the clickable link as I just showed you. Alright, and come up to the top, save and view the tab, and it's in the bottom one, so you want to view it as a fan. Okay, and there you go, there's our text written in. Uh, click here to see great videos, and as you can see now it's a clickable link. And what should happen, at the top here we've got our tabs, what should happen, um, the YouTube tab that we've created should open up in a new tab alongside this one, okay? Here we go. And it's taken us to a YouTube. Brilliant. Okay. So that's how you do a clickable link. Alright. 
So we're just going to um, take that one off of there. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab that code out of there. Um, if it'll let me do it. It's been a little bit temperamental today with me removing codes and stuff. Um, so if it doesn't, I'll just leave it in. And we're a little bit jumpy, as you can see. Right, okay, it's good. Let me drag it out of there. Right, and then what we're going to do, um, what I've done, um, I've gone onto X header just before I made the video, and I've created just an, it, just an image, basically, for us to use. As you can see, YouTube, click here. Now this could be an image you've created on X header, this could be a photo, anything at all, you can still make it clickable. Okay, so I've created my my image. Okay, um, I'm going to use I've used file den on this occasion. You can normally use photo bucket, but I have shown in a previous video on file den. Um, I've uploaded it, and I'm going to grab the link as always. Okay, as you would do on photo bucket. Copy the link. <coughs> okay, then we're on to composer. All right. So what we're going to do is going to get rid of that one. We've finished with that one. Okay. Let's just go back over here. And you come up to the top again. It's just slightly out of shot, but you know what to do. I'm going to click on image. I'm going to bring this down. So you see what I'm doing. Um, right click, go into the location. As you can see, you get your preview. Stick in a bit of text. Okay, and up we go with the with the image. So then, what we need to do, if you just click on the image, you'll see it sort of highlight up like that. Um, and you see, then right click it, and you come down here. You'll see create link. Yeah, create link. <coughs> um, and again, this is the link. So it's the same address as before. HTTP www.youtube.com Okay, um, and save it. Okay, whenever you put a fresh link on an image or something like that, it always goes highlighted like it just did, so you know. Um, and that's it, come back down the bottom to source and grab the code, copy. Okay, we go back over to our thumbs up fan page. Now there is a slight difference here because when we created that um, um, clickable link inside the image, it didn't give us the option there as it did with the um, with the clickable link. It didn't give us the option while we were creating it to open it in the new tab or a new window. So we're going to have to put that in ourselves. Okay, um, so we're going to paste it in. Click inside the box now. What we need to do is we need to find the youtube.com which is always up here. See this ahref youtube.com. Okay. Easiest place to remember, I always put it at the, t at the beginning. <coughs> Some people tell you to put it in different areas, but if you put it after the A, so you just click here. And all we need to do, we need to write, is target equals inverted comma sign and a bottom space sign okay and then we're going to put blank okay so it's target equals inverted commas bottom space sign blank inverted commas okay this will tell the coding basically to open it up in a new window in a new tab I always prefer to do. You can use the word top here instead of blank and what top will do will open it up again inside so the base of this tab then will change completely um, to YouTube or if you were directing to another part of your Facebook fan page again you need to make sure it says target equals top if you wanted to keep it in the same tab um, otherwise it will open inside the iframe again I'm not sure. I'm not sure properly. Um, I always go for the new tab. I just think it, it looks easier. Um, it avoids the problems, and you can then just switch between one and the other. Okay, so target equals blank written there in between the A and the href of the YouTube.com. 
or whatever address you have. All right. Um, save and view as fan. That's where we want it. There's our image. Um, when you first put this up, just so you know, sometimes when you click on it, it doesn't always go straight away. You might need to just refresh the page and then save and view again. I don't know why. Um, just so if it does ha doesn't go first time, try it a second time, just so you know. Um, let's see if it works first time. We're going to click on the image, and there we go, straight away. New tab at the top, YouTube.com. Okay, um, and that is it. That's how simple and easy it is to do. So now you can enhance the creation of your fan pages with some hyperlinks or some clickable links and some clickable images. You can direct to websites, you can direct to blogs, you can um, post it around. And it's all very, very simple and following on from the stuff that I've already shown you. Um, I hope you followed on along with that quite easily. Um, just a short video for today. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you've learned how to do that as well. Um, keep your eye out for more free stuff on the way to you and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks very much and thanks for watching. See ya.